Let's go ahead and get some practice at evaluating functions using our function notation. So for example one, we see if f of x equals 3x minus 4, I want to find the following, f of negative 1, f of 6, and f of negative 2. Well, what in the world does this even mean? Well, if we remember going back in our function rule, um, we have some sort of a rule. In this case, my rule is taking a number, multiplying it by 3, and then subtracting 4. So whatever I pop into my rule, what's coming out as a result? My x's are my inputs and my y's, or f of x, these things are like saying the exact same thing, that's my output. So this is saying um, whatever I replace x with, that's my input. So in this case, f of negative one, that's like saying I'm popping negative one into my rule. I do my rule, which is three x minus four, what pops out as a result? So let's go ahead and solve for these. Another way if you kind of think of it visually this way is whatever x is inside my parentheses, I'm going to replace that with whatever I'm told. So if I have f of negative 1, I'm going to replace x with negative 1. So that's going to equal 3 times negative 1 minus 4. 3 times negative 1 is negative 3 minus 4. Negative 4 a negative 3 and a negative 4 is negative 7. So I pop in a negative 1, out pops a negative 7. Um, so f of negative 1 equals negative 7. And what does that look like as a coordinate point? Well, we know we have an x and a y point. My x is my domain, is my input, and that's I'm popping in a negative 1. And then what comes out as a result? Negative 7. So I know the point negative 1, negative 7 follows this rule. Let's go ahead and do f of 6. This means I'm plugging in 6 anytime I see an x. So 3 times 6 minus 4. 3 times 6 is 18 minus 4. And that is 14. And so f of 6 equals 14. And as a coordinate point, my x value, my input is 6. And my output, my y value, is 14. So I also know that 6, 14 uh, is one of my pairs that follows this rule. Go ahead and do f of negative 2. Let's go ahead and do another example. Uh, now we have a different rule. Uh, so I have a different rule. I'm going to label this function g of x just to make sure it's different than f, but it's still a rule. I'm still uh, plugging a number in. I'm going to multiply it by negative 6, and then I'm going to add 1. So go ahead and see if you can find the following for g of 0, g of negative 4, and g of 3. 